Hey there, it's Sky the Pedal Guy. How you doing? We're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In today's video, I'm gonna take you through our next edition of Pedal vs. Pedal, which puts the Hot Tone Ampero up against the Headrush MX-5. But before we get to it, if this is your first visit to my channel, take a second, click on that subscribe button down there, give me a thumbs up, help my video rank in the YouTube algorithm so I can make more content for you. Well, since the release of the Headrush MX-5 a couple of weeks ago, I've received a lot of requests to do a video that puts the MX-5 up against the Ampero. So I'm doing this in the traditional pedal versus pedal fashion where I do it in two parts. The first part is I'm going to give you uh, a rundown of all of the differences between the two units. So this is gonna be more of a talking video. The next video that's gonna be later this week on Friday will give you some actual audio demos between the two units. And the whole purpose and goal here is so that you can make the most informed decision possible. Okay, let's get to it. Now, one thing I wanna point out right off the bat because I do think this is an important factor is the processing power of both of these pedal boards. The Ampero is a dual processor pedal board while the Headrush is a quad core processor pedal board. This is gonna determine your performance with the board and how many simultaneous amps, effects, EQs, all the processor intensive stuff that both of the pedal boards handle, it will be determined by those processors. So do keep that in mind when making a purchase decision. Now, while we're on the topic of amps and effects and all that great stuff, let's do a quick rundown between these two. The MX-5 has 46 amps, 15 cabinets, 10 microphones, it has up to 300 impulse responses, and it has 63 different effects. By way of comparison, the Ampero has 64 amps, 60 cabinets, and over 150 effects built in. It doesn't have any impulse responses, but you can load them in quite easily. Let's take a look at the top of the Ampero. You have your master volume, you have a rotary encoder here, you also have a lock switch to lock the screen, you have an expression pedal, and you have three main foot switches and a control foot switch. Plus you also have three encoders underneath the touchscreen. Now let's take a look at the top of the MX-5. Like the Ampero, the MX-5 has a master volume knob, it has a rotary encoder, and it has an expression pedal and a touchscreen. It also has three foot switches as opposed to four, and it doesn't have any rotary encoders underneath the touchscreen. Okay, let's quickly go over the IOs of the Ampero. So the far left, uh, you have your expression pedal 2 input, and we'll cover that in a second. We have the uh, actual guitar input here where you have an input mode selector where you can go between electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and line. You have your balanced outputs, which are XLR. You have a ground lift. You have your auxiliary input, headphone output. Uh, moving further to the right here, you've got your unbalanced outputs, which are a uh, quarter inch. You have a USB port, and you have a MIDI input. Now let's have a look at the back of the MX-5. Starting all the way to the far left, you've got your guitar input, you have an expression pedal input, you have your uh, stereo effects send and return, you have balanced left and right outputs, you have headphone output, uh, auxiliary input, you have MIDI in and MIDI out, you do need to use the adapters that are included with it, and you've got your USB port. Both the Ampero and the MX-5 have a looper built in, which is awesome. To access the looper on the Ampero, just use the third and fourth foot switch, and now you're in the looper. So here are a couple of key defining points about the Ampero looper. One, it's a phrase looper, meaning that it can record up to 100 seconds of loop time, but it doesn't save those loops, so it's more of a performance piece. Additionally, it's got a drum machine built in with several different drum styles and tempos and patterns. It also has the ability to change the preset within the looper, so it runs independently of the rest of the Ampero, which is really handy. It also has the ability to go pre or post, so that means you can place the looper at the beginning or the end of the signal chain. And additionally, you can assign the foot switches to perform various tasks within the looper. I've actually done a full video on how to use the looper, and I'll leave a link in the video description so you can watch it for yourself. To access the looper on the MX-5, all you have to do is press and hold the second foot switch, and that'll get you into the looper. Now, this can record up to 20 minutes of loop time. Uh, you have 50 layers as well, so you can make some very large loops if you want to. You can also save those loops, you can load loops. So this is more of one of those pieces where you can create the loop at home, and then you can take it with you to the gig. Uh, in addition to that, you have some very interesting things you can do with the feedback control, a la Fripertronics. 
You can change the position of the looper from pre to post, so you can put it at the beginning or the end of the signal chain. You can change the speed, the length. You can do uh, play, forward playback or reverse if you want to. You can peel away the layers as you are recording them. Uh, and of course, you've got control from the uh, three foot switches or from the touchscreen. When it comes to USB audio functionality, both of these pedal boards can be used as audio interfaces with your favorite DAW. So that means you can use it with Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, Reaper, you know, whatever your weapon of choice is. One additional function though with the uh, MX-5 uh, that should be of note is that it has the ability to be used as a reamping device. So you can take any previously recorded track and you can put it through all the processors of the Headrush and then record it back onto another track. It's a very cool function. Now let's talk about editing. Editing on the Ampero can be done one of two ways, either from the touchscreen or from the included app. To access the touchscreen, just use the edit button there in the upper right corner, and this will get you into the edit window, where you can then go to all of the various signal blocks within your signal chain and adjust them accordingly. So you can turn them off and on by either using the touchscreen itself, or you can use the rotary encoder to do that as well. You can also edit uh, those of individual effects, so you can select a completely new effect if you want to. Uh, and then you've got a bunch of different parameters that you can use the encoders below to change. In addition to this, if you want to change the positioning of any of these effects inside of your preset, just simply double tap on it and you can use the position select to place it anywhere you like along the signal chain. And once you're done, just make sure you save. Another way to edit the Ampero is from using the Ampero editor which is an app that's included with the Ampero. Just simply use the USB port on the back of the Ampero, attach it to your computer, make sure that you've got the latest firmware installed, and you're off to the races. When it comes to editing with the Headrush, while it's true that there isn't an online editor, it's all about the touchscreen. And it's so interactive and so easy to use. So if you wanna move around effects within the rigs, and you wanna make adjustments or change the order of the effects, it's all about using the touchscreen. If you wanna get rid of an effect, just simply click and drag to the delete section and delete it, simple as that. If you wanna add a new effect, go to an empty slot, go to any different uh, type of effect and then select the effect you want and voila, there you go. So quite simple to do, quite easy to use. So I, I don't know, you know, it's, it's up to you as far as whether you need an online editor or not. Uh, but when it comes to the head rush, this is the way that they've done it from day one and it's paid off well for them. When it comes to expanding your Headrush or your Ampero, you're in luck because both manufacturers make a couple of fine solutions. Uh, Headrush has its own expression pedal, which you can use uh, basically with anything that ex accepts an expression pedal. Hot Tone also makes their own expression pedal, which is called the Ampero Press. And this is a passive volume and an expression pedal. Now, when it comes to expanding the foot switches for the Ampero and for the uh, head rush. There's a couple of really good solutions we have here. One is the Ampero switch. Now this is relevant specifically to the Ampero. This gives you two additional foot switches that you can plug into the back of the Ampero. For those of you who want to get in depth, Hot Tone has another solution. This works with both the Ampero and with the head rush. This is called the Ampero Control, which gives you four additional foot switches. It's a Bluetooth MIDI controller, so you can use your phone uh, to actually access all of the functionality of the Ampero control, uh, create presets, and then use it along with either the Headrush or the Ampero. So there's a lot of functionality here that I'm gonna cover in a future video tutorial. Well, that concludes this video. I hope you found it helpful. Join me later this week where I'll give you an audio demonstration between the MX-5 and the Ampero. Hope to see you there. Take care. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com, where I love pedals and so do you.